everyone. Hello, hello. Oh, how's everyone doing tonight? It's a wonderful day. Ah, uh, I'm really sweaty right now. Actually, I don't know why. Oh my God. Anyways, hi. What's up? How are you guys? It's kicking around. Hi, Chengyi and Ben. Anyone else that's lurking? So, originally. I was going to play Deadly Premonition. We are going to continue with that. And uh, it won't boot up. It crashes. So that, that same problem I had when I initially wanted to play it and it kept crashing. And now it's doing that again and I can't seem to fix it. <sighs> so I don't... I, I, I hope eventually we'll be... Playing it again, I hope. I don't really want to give up on the series, but I just can't seem to get it to work. So, instead, we are... Oh, ew, why is it doing that? <laughs> instead, we are going to play a new game I just got gifted. Uh, the Dream Machine. Yeah, that's right. Okay, why does why is it look like that on the screen? No, that's just, that's just ugly. Uh, okay, yeah, full screen is on. Hold on a sec here. Um, it's screen. What, what? Did it earlier, why is it doing that now? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hold on a sec. Da -da 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 -da. That song's gonna be stuck in my head. Huh. Aw. On. <laughs> Does it do anything? That's okay. I can man manually stretch it if I want to. Ooh, ooh. Or we could do it like that. Oh, it's your birthday, Kyle. Awesome. Happy birthday to you. I hope it's been a good day. Did you do anything? Did you, uh, did you go out for dinner or lunch or something like that? Yeah, that's fine. We'll do with that. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so, yeah, there are six chapters for this game. Um, I only had the first two. You have to buy the, the rest of them. I think they're like five bucks each, though, so it's not, like, horrible. Um, yeah, so they made this whole entire game out of clay and cardboard. Um... I don't know exactly what it's about story-wise. I thought I would just jump into it because I don't really like to know what the story is. I just I just want to jump into it and see. So, chapter one. We are like the dreamer. Let's do it. Oh, you did go out to eat dinner? Awesome. We are like the spider. We weave our life and then move along in it. We are like the dreamer who dreams and then lives in the dream. Oh, that's deep. Oh, we're coming in with some biddies. Thank you, Ick. How's it going? Oh, and did you see the new bar that I put up at the top? Ah, buddy, coming in with a host hero. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. How are you, buddy? All right. So we're 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 in. Pick up piece of what? Examine forked branch. Oh, a fishing rod. Move rock. Okay. <laughs> a lighter. Nice. Oh, we can make a fire. Well, I did not read that. Oh, it's surprisingly dry. I can probably use it for kingling. Yes, you could. 
So, how do we drag and drop to use items with other... Use three pieces of wood with fireplace? Did you say fireplace? Uh, light it, light it. Nice! Oh, there's a shovel. Okay. It's a forked branch shutting out of the sand. Aha! Examine wreck. What's that all about? The boat has been smashed against that rock. Yes, okay. That's very observant. Is that how I ended up here? It's strange that I can't remember something like that. Yeah, it is a little strange. Trees! Are those coconuts? Uh, do I like dig? I can dig everywhere with that? Oh my god, that'll take forever. <laughs> I'm doing good, buddy. Thanks for asking. The bar looks real good. Yeah! Thanks, guys. Oh, so hard on that, you know? Flexed my Photoshop skills. I haven't done in a while. Ah, some more bitty bits! Thanks, Chungy. Throwing bits Thursday. <laughs> uh, oh, Wick made it rain. Everyone got some, some extra cookies. Generous Thursday. <laughs> That's sweet. Uh, uh, uh. Know. Shovel with rock. Hitting a rock with shovel won't achieve anything. <laughs> Place a fishing rod on the fork branch. The fish doesn't seem too interested in biting, though. Salmon hole. Oh! It's a worm. I could... Oh! I'm supposed to put it on the, uh... The fishing rod. There we go. How about now? Ah! Yay! I got a fishy! Okay, we're gonna cook it and eat it. I can't bear to skewer the poor thing while it's still alive. Well, kill it with the shovel. That seems to have killed the fish. <laughs> there we go. I remember we went ice fishing last year. Was it last year? Year before? And we caught a fish to take home and we had to kill it. And my buddy that had to do it took forever. The fish isn't quite done yet. He was a little mortified by the experience. <laughs> Real fish. Yum. Okay, now what, do I eat it? Eat grilled fish with yourself. It tastes great, but what's this? This piece of paper in the belly of the fish. Examine map. Uh, okay. Assuming those are the rocks, right? We're supposed to dig over there? Here. Ah, I did it, did it. It's a clock. Ah, it's week two. <laughs> Maddie's first instinct is murder, noted. Well, you know me. Turn off, thank you, it's so annoying. This looks so pretty. That was a dream. Painting seems a lot like my dream. I must have fallen asleep looking at it. Oh, my volume's a little high. Focus is out for bright night. It's a techie charm that Alicia usually hates. Alicia? Alicia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ventilation grate. Just an old ventilation grate. Boxes. These boxes are all we managed to move here last night. The rest along along with the furniture should arrive later today. These two are filled to the brim with crime novels. Cool. We haven't installed lighting fixtures yet. Ah, more biddies! Thanks, Wick. Yes, you guys are really trying to fill that cup. <laughs> Look at him go. 
What's in this box? It says baby clothes. Okay, so label says Victor's clothes. That must be him. Victor. These two contain books mostly. Lamp. Must belong to previous inhabitants. It doesn't work. Diamond window. This view is much nicer than our old apartments. I miss being close to nature though. Enter nursery. Okay, so they have a baby? Are they gonna have a baby? Is this considered the nursery? Seems an odd placement. Wouldn't this be more like a living room? These two contain some of Alicia's eBay purchases. <laughs> oh, really? This contains some of Alicia's student literature. Take it to parts of my precious vinyl collection. Ooh. I wonder what's in there. Like which vinyls? Yes. This contains some parental reading material that I'll dig into as soon as we're stable. Oh, what's that? I see it right there. Oh, I have to move things around. Oh, cool! Oh, look at these little cute things! <laughs> They're so cute! Ah! Telephone. Oh, look at, look at these little... Oh my god, they're so cute. They must be like baby monitors or walkie-talkies or whatever. <laughs> we need a bigger cup. Oh, really? I like my Sunday cup, though. It's cute. My old ex. Under my dreams of becoming a stage musician. Once we're settled in, I'll try to get the music career brewing again. Uh, hallway, kitchen. Let's go in the kitchen. <laughs> oh my gosh, Auntie! We have a two fitty. <laughs> Rage, I can. That's so cute. Why are you so mad? God. I took an empty box, apparently. So I have an empty box. It says kitchen utensils on the label, but the box is empty. And then. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Go back there. I just wanted to see what the phone was. It's our old phone. Cold water tap? Warm water tap? Door? It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. Let's talk to Alicia. Oh, she's terrifying looking. Oh, you're awake! Thought I'd surprise you with breakfast in bed. Aw, oh, that's sweet of you. Here, let me help you with that. Could go back to bed if you want me to. <laughs> About time, I'm starving here. Uh, here, let me help you with that. No need, it's almost done. Could you set the table for us in the meantime? We don't have a kitchen table. <laughs> that shipment has arrived yet, honey. I just woke up, Alicia, and you're already expecting miracles from me. God. More bits. Thanks, Vin. <laughs> Hi, Malk. Claymation. Heck yeah. So cool. Uh, shipment has arrived yet, honey. Doesn't have to be a table. Anything square and flat will do for now. So, like a cardboard box. There we go. I just grabbed an empty box or something. Of course, darling. Maybe later. There's some other things I'd like to do first. No, I'm too tired. Can't you do it yourself? Thanks, honey. Can I open the fridge? What's in there? We'll have to do a market run. Yeah. Empty fridge is a depressing sight. I agree. You got and bathroom. Ah, this is so cute. Flush toilet. Yeah. Warm water tap. Cold water tap. Baby oil. Oh, I'll pick that up. Conditioning. I should probably start using this stuff more often. A nurturing blend of hegemonia and sage, the preferred brand of the Neff household. It's Alicia's skin lotion. It's expensive, but she swears by it. Take a shower. About to get out of these clothes, but there are plenty of time for that later. Fine. She <laughs> you generously give her bits and she follows it up by calling you mad. I was asking why he was using rage emotes. <laughs> rage because I was up late and only slept a few hours. Someone's fault. Not my fault. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm scared. Don't be scared, Malk. 
It's not spooky. Actually, the music is a little unsettling, isn't it? Um... How did I go back? Do I not go back? At least that's the start I'm sticking to. My finger pointing sense is tingling. <laughs> East thing contain various knickknacks for the modern living room. Plants. Some lots of plants, probably left here by the previous tenant. Ashtray. Crumpled paper. Well, what is it? it? Seems to be the remains of a letter. Somebody tried to destroy it, but the fire didn't consume it entirely. If I unfold it carefully, I might be able to read it. That should do it. Kids, read it. I better be careful when I rotate the pieces. They look very delicate. How do I rotate them? How do I rotate? Ah! Eh, how do I rotate? Well, tell me in here. No. Well, how am I supposed to know then? Oh, I can save. Let's save. Meow. Okay, uh... May concern. Oh, I see. I just kind of had to wiggle it. And it kind of like <laughs> sways. Ah. <laughs> this is so awkward. Travis, the previous tenant. Okay. Um. we go. Is it like is that how it goes? In my case, sir, I'm hiding the note in the hope uh, that you will find something going on. No, what? I'm not paranoid. Look under the floorboard, under the light switch, in the bedroom, and you'll see what I mean. Whatever that thing, I'm not staying around. Find out what it does. Perhaps you'll be able to figure it out, Travis. Look under the floorboard in the bedroom. Oh, there's the... Oh, okay, okay. Not naming names, but it's totally Kappa's fault. <laughs> Why can't we fill the cup with ice cream? I wish, that would be great. I actually have ice cream in my freezer. You can! Assume a carton of ice cream costs $10 and put that in there. <laughs> if I can't see it, though, it doesn't exist. So demanding. These do contain some of our winter clothes. It's her favorite coat. She wore it on our first date. Okay, I need to... Reading speed? Whoa! Is that what I was at? Was one? I, I... Oh! A telephone outlet. Wow! I have a phone right here. I have a phone right here. 
No, get out. There we go. There we go. Can we, are we gonna use it? Oh, we don't have a number. Oh, we got mail. Do you need help with the ice cream lid? Ha ha, so funny. Just the funniest. No, I can get that open, okay? Dear Mr. and Mrs. Neff, thank you for choosing Prosser and Ankovich Realtor Service. We hope you enjoy your new home for many years to come. If you have any questions regarding our services or if you have any questions regarding the apartment or maintenance issues, please don't hesitate in directing to our head and office at uh, this number. We look forward to continuing to serve you. Again, I thank you for choosing blah, 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 blah. Just Google marble slab creamery and your ice cream picture to see. Mmm, ice cream. That's way too fast. Can I? Dude. I want to do off. There. That way I can just click to. Uh, uh, uh do we go? Oh, you can leave the apartment. Ha! It's nailed to the floor. I can't lift it with my bare hands. Uh, and <laughs> baby oil? Why did I keep that? SK! Saskatchewan? Probably not. Oh, I don't need to examine that again. I could call them. Is somebody trying to be of service? Won't make that mistake again. Oh, don't even pull that. Don't even try and guilt me, Wick. I told him to use it with the floor, right? I'm, I'm assuming that that's where we're... There we go. Okay, I set it up! What do you think of this note I found? Hmm, let me see. I think it might be a hoax. Sounds too good to be true otherwise. Something you read in a crime novel. Probably left us a present under their floorboards and want to rile us up a bit before we found it. Doesn't the fact that somebody tried to destroy the note lend it some credit? Nah, he probably did that himself to make it seem more mysterious. Seems to have made sure we can read the important parts at least. Either way, I think we should check what's under the floorboards in the bedroom. You do that, honey. You do you! Oh, hi, Grinds. How are y'all? What's new? Careful, Maddie is in a Maddie mood. Maddie is always in a Maddie mood. Um... I put an empty box over there in the corner by the window. Great, then let's eat. Let's just sit down and I'll bring us breakfast. Okay, I'm hungry. Feed me. Feed me! Sit down by the box. So I'm pretty sure the clay people are possessed. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Is this magical? Yes, eating on a cardboard box is so magical. The first breakfast in our new apartment. I'm skeptical about the cardboard. I don't think this place deserves it. But there's some candles at the very least. <laughs> I knew what box they were in. I'd go get them. But how was, how was what, dear? Your first night in our new home. Did you sleep well? Like a baby! I haven't slept with my clothes on! Tossed a dirt a lot, but I feel pretty rested now. I dreamt a lot. So I can't have been sleeping all that deeply. Oh, what did you dream? I dreamt I was alone on a small island. I dreamt about fishing. I don't like talking about my dreams. Who doesn't? Come on, talking about your dreams is so much fun. What did you do? 
I caught a fish. I found a note in a fish. I caught a fish. With your bare hands? No, I had a pole. Aw, poor fish. So much cheating, isn't it? It was him or me, basically. And what did you do? Uh, I started a fire by rubbing twigs. <laughs> nah, I found a lighter. How convenient. For a deserted island, it seems pretty well stocked. That's true. I hadn't thought about that. Then what? A worm in the ground. Did you use it to bait the hook? Yeah. You always dream about torturing small defenseless animals? Yeah. Only in my dreams. That's why I love you, I guess. What? When aren't clay people possessed? I think it's a law. <laughs> yeah, how how are the scrubs? Any any holes in the crotch or butt area? Tell us about your dreams then, Maddie. Uh, I don't remember. I think I had a Star Trek dream last night. Because I've been falling asleep to Star Trek every night. I don't remember, though. Oh, well, what did it say? It was a treasure map. How exciting. Did you find the treasure? I was just about to, and then the alarm clock went off, and the sound must have fused with my dream. That's when I woke up. It's strange how the mind incorporates real things into dreams like that. I bet that does that in order for us to get our precious rest, no matter what. It only wakes you up, it thinks you're in danger. It's comforting to know that my mind is looking out for me even when I'm sleeping. But what do you think it means? What what means? Your dream, silly. Dreams don't mean shit, Alicia. It's just an episode of brain firing away randomly. I think it means I was looking at the painting above the bed before er above the bed as I fell asleep, that's all. Dream about being on a deserted island? Or is any more solitude? I don't know. What do you think it means? You want my appeasing bullshit answer? Do you want to know what I really think? I want you to tell me the truth, of course. The appeasing answer, if you don't mind. I'll trust your judgment on this one. I'm not here at all. It sounds pretty much like your standard escape is fair. You're scared of the new situation. You're longing back to a simpler life than we had before. The old cushy job, your old slacker friends. You know that's not true. Living here, trying to raise a family with you, it's going to be the best thing I've ever done. Still sounds like you're viewing it like some kind of grand adventure. It's just a dream, Alicia. You're taking it too seriously. Sorry, Victor. I guess the force of uh, pregnant mood swings is strong with me today. Don't I know it? Don't say that to your pregnant wife. She'll kill you in your sleep. Were you a red shirt? Pfft, no. Why would I be a red shirt? That was your first night. Did you dream about anything? This is quite a breakfast. How long have you been up? That was your first night. I slept quite well, actually. Wow, you must have been dead tired then. Yeah, usually I can hardly sleep at all in familiar, unfamiliar places. Did you dream about anything? I dreamt I was on a luxury cruise through the Mediterranean. I was on the deck in a fold-out chair, being served umbrella drinks. You dreamt that before, haven't you? Yeah, it's a reoccurring dream. It'll haunt me until the day you buy us that luxury cruise. <laughs> haunt us both then. Red shirt confirmed. No. It's about nine, I think. I was having a dream, but after a while it turned weird. That's when I woke up. What happened? Why, well, remember the caretaker that let us in last night? Yeah, I can't remember his name, though. Me neither. Norton? Morton? Horton? Something like that. He was in my dream. Sounds like he made quite an impression on you. To be honest, he sort of creeped me out. I thought he seemed pretty nice. He was nice in real life. The dream version of him was kind of creepy. I feel like the video is like... stretched. I don't even like that. Why is it doing that? Uh, 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 
Uh, hold on, like two seconds, guys. Sorry. Let me even let me. There we go. Okay. That did that do anything? Sorry, this is gonna look really weird. I'm just seeing if I can. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to stretch at all. Hmm. Oh well, we'll have to just deal with that. He has to do the resolution or something. Morton hears a moo. <laughs> Uh, uh, so what was so weird about your dream? What did the caretaker do in your dream? Speaking of the caretaker, he's so sick. Let's ask that. I don't want to talk about it while we're eating. It's a bit too graphic. Ew! I don't want to know them. Can we talk about this later, Victor? I'm still a bit disturbed by it. Yeah, he said he'd stop by with the duplicate this morning, but he must have forgotten. I better call him then. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Go wash the dishes while you give him a call. Want me to help you with that? Stop hampering me, dear. I'll be fine. God, fuck off. Ooh, out of saving. Nice. Oh, while you're at it, Maddie, audio is off. There's some desync between the narrator and subtitles. What? Lies. I forgot what I was doing for a second. Okay, uh, do I have to memorize the number? Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, may I help you? Hi, yeah, hi. My name's Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved into an apartment arranged by your company. Why, hello, Mr. Neff. What can I do for you? Trying to reach the caretaker of this building. You wouldn't happen to have his number, would you? What's the address of the building? Uh, Toad to Point. Yes. That's the old building behind Esper Square, right? I think so. We're new in town, so I don't know where everything is just yet. Let's see here. I'm not finding any caretaker at that address. You wouldn't happen to know his name, would you? I think it's Norton. I'm gonna say Morton. Norton, is it? It might have been. I was really tired last night, though. Now I'm trying to play with the Norton. Could it have been something else? Horton? Horton, eh? Sure sound like it, but I wasn't really concentrating. Nope, must have been something else. There's no Hortons at that address. Could it have been something else? Morton? Pretty sure that's what he said. I have a Felix Morton here, but he's actually listed as your landlord, not the caretaker. That's why I couldn't find him. Would you like his number instead? Yeah, I suppose it must be the same guy. Number is 555-647533. Right, good. Is there anything else you needed? Uh, what kind of services do company provide? Our main service is that of a realtor, but we also extend a bit beyond that. We basically connect people looking for apartments with people who have apartments to rent or sell. But if you ever need help with things like renting furniture and negotiating leases, we also provide those type of services. Did that answer your question? Thanks, that's good to know. Was that all? Uh, that's all, thank you. No problem. You just like slam the phone down. Uh, okay. Call Mr. Morton. Morton here. Hello, this is Victor Neff from the second floor. Couple you let in yesterday. Yeah, so hello, Mr. Neff. Are you settling in all right? Everything's fine, thanks. Just wondering when you'd be around to deliver the spare key you mentioned last night. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd all but forgotten about that. I figured you might have. I'll be right out. Thanks. Now, do, do, we, do we wait? We just stand here? Or do, do we leave the appointment? You called the caretaker? Yeah, I just got off the phone with him. He said he'd be right out. I'm just gonna check if the furniture has arrived. Can't you stay until he gets here? I don't want to be alone when he comes with the spare key. Fair thing, movers can wait. Thanks, darling. Uh, so what do we do now?
Oh, and he's giving the bonuses. So, do I just talk? Oh! How's the doorbell? Go get it. I'm interested to see what this guy looks like, if he's gonna be creepy. Oh, okay, yeah, he's a little creepy. Hello again, Mr. Nith. Here's the spare key. Thank you. Do you find the apartment in order? Everything seems fine, but I'll know more when we've had a chance to live here a bit longer. Well, just tell me if you need help fixing anything. Is that all? Uh, I'm a bit confused as to what to call you. Are you the caretaker or the landlord? Auntie! Giving more angry bits! Why, thank you. You guys are spoiling me tonight. The reason I'm asking is because Prosser and Ankovich didn't have you listed as the caretaker. I can see how that would be confusing. My family's owned the house for four generations. I rent out the apartments I don't need and try to take care of the estate as best as I can. Make you be both the caretaker of the house and your landlord. I see. Is there anything else? If I ever need you again, I'll just give you a call, right? I thought that I'd come visit me in my office downstairs. Did you see it yesterday when you arrived? No, I guess I must have been pretty tired. Just ring the doorbell. I both live and work there, so I pretty much can be found there at all times. You live in your office? Oh, the office is just the front room. My apartment extends further in. You got me worried there for a second. Is there anything else? Uh, no. Goodbye. Wow, and you got to thank you this time. Oh, something wrong with me. I'm off. Give me a call if you need me. Will do. Bye-bye. So, can I leave now to check on the... Okay, I can. Oh. This music is nice. Just a moment. Be right with you. Ugh! Eels. Hello, ma'am. My name's Victor Nash. My wife and I just moved across the hall from you. Decided to stop by and introduce myself. Well, hello there, young fella. I'm Eddie Edie. I'm gonna say Edie Jones. I'm the resident senior in this house. You live here by yourself? Yes, I do. Just me and my memories now. Used to have a husband around, but he went the way of mortal men. Oh, sorry to hear that. Don't be. Didn't care for him much anyway. <laughs> There's only room for one woman in his life. She wasn't me, if you know what I mean. Did you say your name's Victor Neff? Like the actor? Like the actor, but he lived a bit before my time, though. You two must be related, surely. No relation. Never seen any of his movies either, to be honest. Ah, you're missing out then. You had a knack for playing brutes. He used to be a boxer, see? Before it took up acting. And I assure you our similarities in with names. Seem a polite young man, unlike the caretaker here. Mr. Morton? Yeah, that's the one. Making it rain, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, there's so much reading. My poor voice. How could I? He tried to get me evicted as soon as his father died. Fortunately, I've got connections with the housing board. What do you know about him? As much as I care to. I lived here long enough to see him grow up. I knew his father quite well. He was a caretaker prior to little Felix, a wonderful man. Fortunately, the apple fell far from the tree in this case. You know, if you'll excuse me, I'm afraid I'm being rude to my guests. A game of bridge between three is, after all, not a game of bridge at all. See you later then, Miss Jones. Just call me Edie. Everybody does. Okay, bye then, Edie. Bye, dear. <laughs> Poor Vin. Needs some Vin love. Aww. Dara seems to be sealed off. Judging by the warning tape, I'd say it's probably hazardous. Hmm. What's this? This box contains fire equipment. Closet door? 
locked. Oh, elevator. That's <laughs> loud. Ah, I thought that might happen. I seem to be having some problem with the elevator. <clears throat> the door jams every once in a while. It'd be well advised to keep some sort of grease product handy. Use on the hinges. Then just some butter, but I'm all out, I'm afraid. That's okay. Probably be able to find something. The apartments are fabulous, but Vito's houses can be a bit creepy. Well, what'd you expect from a house built on Indian burial ground? What? I'm just joshing you. <laughs> Let's find it on bedrock. Sturdy as can be. You can bury someone there unless they'd gotten run over by a steamroller. Sorry if the sound disturbed you, ma'am. I'll leave you in peace now. Bye-bye. Okay, well, we got baby oil, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, with the elevator. Yeah, we go. Go down. Oh, so there's a boy above us. Examine keyhole. Access to the basement seems to require a key. Okay, we'll go to the first floor. Alrighty. Oh, this looks like his office. <laughs> No one's done. Compared to the rest of Mr. Morton's office, the ink pad looks relatively new. That must be the key to Mr. Morton's office. Hello again, Mr. Nett. You require anything else? Uh, Sir Family owns building. That's right, my great grandfather built this house back in mid 19th century. It's gone from generation to generation since then. I'm the last in line. Is there anything else? What can you tell me about the estate? My great grandfather used most of it for his research. He was one first to study and tried to remedy sleeping disorders. Mm. The patients would live in wards upstairs while undergoing treatments. But as funding became an issue, he sectioned off more and more of it as apartments. In the end, this office and the back room was all that remained. What can you tell me about the other inhabitants? They keep to themselves mostly. It's a pretty quiet house, and that's the way I like it. Apart from you and me, there are three other inhabitants in the estate. On top floor is Mr. Willard. He doesn't get out much due to his disability. Next to him lives Miss Thede. She works as a night nurse at the Abbey Hospital. She's asleep during the day, so I rarely see her. Next you have Mrs. Jones, a widow since a few years back. I'm afraid her age is starting to get the better of her. But on a good day, she's still quite lucid. Nothing else right now. I'm here if you need me. the lobby. Oh! It's my furniture! Are you Victor Neff? Yeah, that's me. We got your sofa here, sir. Ready and delivered. If you just sign the receipt right here, I'll leave it in your hands. Uh, you can't leave the sofa here. You gotta deliver it to apartment. It says nothing about apartment delivery in the contract, sir. We deliver door to door. Like I said, it's right here. And technically speaking, this sofa has been delivered to a door. I don't buy that for a second. I think you managed to get our sofa stuck in the doorway. And since you can't get it free, you're just gonna leave it here? You call it stuck. I say it's delivered. Sir. Come on, help me out here. I got a pregnant wife upstairs, so I can't get this free by myself. Well, I guess I could give you this complimentary crowbar. I'm sure a big guy like you would be able to pry that sofa free in no time. Provided that you send their seat. Ha! Huh. Fine, give it here. I'll sign the damn thing. I'm glad you see reason, sir. Here you go. I haven't heard the last of this. Signed and delivered. Personally, I consider this a job well done. I'm sure you do, dick big. Hope you get run over by bus. Someone's blocking the entrance. Seems to be permanently stuck. <laughs> Morton Estates. F. Morton, E. Jones, T. Brittle. But I think this is ours now. Eed and Willard. So violent. 
Right. <laughs> You're becoming concerned. Let's go to the top floor. I want to meet the uh, the other people. Ding dong. That must be the nurse that's sleeping, maybe. Oh, no one's answering. Okay. <laughs> I think an intervention is needed. No, I'm perfectly fine. What are you talking about? I think it's a crowbar on the floorboard. The crowbar snapped in half. It's not even metal. Good thing I managed to get the board up before it broke. God, that moving company sucks. Oh, it's puzzle time. The device seems to be where the current ends up. I have no idea what it does. Seven fuse. It looks like some kind of fuse. This device measures the current running through it. Um... Is that, is that right? Exactly. Sure. What I'm doing. Don't worry, it's already being planned. No! No shaking weight in. I mean violence, talking to yourself, abusing alcohol, lack of any proper motor skills to open jars. <laughs> Shut up. Ability to solve <laughs> remedial puzzles. <laughs> oh, you're such a little shit. And she thinks she can get away with it because she's entertaining and generally a great person. The nerve! Aw, you think I'm a great person? You're so wrong, but I appreciate that. Like... 
Okay, so just... I don't know what to do with this. Oh, turn switch. Fuck. Where did it? What? We should root the power around them. Around them? Seems to have overloaded the fuse. It's probably designed to blow before anything else could happen. Maybe I can bypass it somehow. Use the CSS now and throw it away. Press much is current running through it. I think the current interests are here. So what do I do now? You guys forgot about abusing Anti. Abusing Anti is the best part! Wait, we're not supposed to abuse Anti? No, we're supposed to. I'll say hi, Sailor. <laughs> Do I have to remind everyone how she locked me in a filthy pre owned shed? You asked for it, okay? And abusive tendencies towards Anti. Expresses herself and identifies her as an abuse of said Anti. <laughs> I still say that shed visit was character building. <laughs> visit. So, aren't you just elected to stay in it? What do you mean, visit? I'm still there! <laughs> Prolonged, encouraged visit. <laughs> but Maddie sent out that secret memo to always abuse. Shh. Nope, don't know what you're talking about. Damn it, pillow. Why do I need to examine pillow? Maddie did a thing! Yeah! Why is... Why was the water on? You left the water on, chick. Oh gosh, she's so terrifying to look at. Is that Mr. Morton I heard in the hallway? He was just here to drop off Sparky. Did you get a creepy vibe off him? Can't say I did. He still seems quite nice to me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just overacting. Um, Just found a strange device under the floorboards. What are you trying to do? I managed to overload the circuit. That only made the fuse blow. Can you replace it with something? I guess, but I don't know what. Maybe something conductive that won't blow it if it overloaded. Guess I could try that. I don't have anything conductive. Except a... A spare apartment key. <laughs> Would that work? This is what happens with too much plastic surgery? Exactly. It's very true. All oh, the positive reinforcement! Yay! I did a thing without cheating! <laughs> oh wow, it does work. That seems to have been too much power for the machine to handle. It's completely burned out. I wonder what it operated. No way! What was that? I thought I heard some kind of noise. I don't know, really. I did what it said on the note and found a circuit board under the floor. After I tampered with the circuit, the painting blew, flew up. What's behind the painting? It's a camera, dude. You're not sure? It's a fucking camera. Look at it! So what is it? Looks like a surveillance camera! A camera? You mean somebody was peeping on us while we slept? Definitely seems that way. Who would do such a thing? Don't know. Uh, I, 
that. <laughs> Maybe he taped his sexual conquests. And Mr. Martin is my prime suspect. I was just about to say that. He had access to the apartment. I told you I got a creepy vibe. And if it was Mr. Morton, that means he found the note left by the previous tenant and tried to destroy it. That makes sense. If it is Morton, this is some kind of perverted fantasy he's trying to fulfill. I feel so violated, Victor. I think we should contact the police. What do you think? I would go down and beat the shit out of him. Yeah, me too. Uh, I guess I'm going down, no matter what. I just want to make sure he doesn't get away before the police arrives. By now he's probably noticed that we've discovered what he's up to. I'll just go down and keep an eye on him until the police get here. That's a good idea. You have to make sure he doesn't get away with this. I'll call the police in the meantime. Camera in the bedroom must be Auntie's room. Ho ho! Camera above the bed. Does this game have a porn hub's <laughs> ponchers? <laughs> it's so creepy. Can you imagine? It, like, in your apartment, if... If you found a camera like that? Oh my god, I'd be so fucking creeped out. Goodbye! <laughs> Auntie treats? <laughs> You're gonna get Auntie some treats? I could give him some cat treats. To reach it, I need something. I don't have anything. It's locked. Won't budge. Gonna have to find something. Okay. No. <laughs> this Morton, Morton pass it here. Oop. Mr. Morton, an elderly, shifty looking fellow. Stuff is still blocking the entrance, sir. Nobody's coming in or out of this place. Convenient. Hey! Perfect. I've got half a stale muffin you could have. Aw, Ben, that's so sweet. I'm sure he would love that. Aha! This music is creepy. I've unlocked the door. Ooh, and chapter one. Oh, hi, Goom. How are you? Mr. Morton? I know you're in here. We found your camera. My wife's upstairs calling the police. They'll be here any minute. Chapter two, the little man who wasn't there. Send into a box. It's a box containing various tools. To a board. Tools are hanging over the desk. Wanna use the phone? Didn't my wife already call the police? Turn on my Oh, cute. Pick up piece of paper. What does that say? This piece of paper is blank. Uh pick up stamp. You wanna stamp the paper? Stamp! There we go. I stamped the paper. Stamp is barely visible. I can't make out what it says. Salmon shelf. Mostly binders with business related paperwork, etc. etc. Date back to the 1920s. Woo! Oh, I got a book. Examine Dream Journal 1973. Star. Interesting. Uh, March 3rd, 1973. Night terrors again. This one was quite bad. A girl was there with wavy hair. I dreamt of a barren landscape scorched by the sun. I heard a voice. Beyond these walls lies Jeff's heart. I saw a laughing this moon with uh, rotten maggot teeth. Ugh. Stars turned on me. I have to say it feels better having written this down. An <laughs> intervention? No. No intervention. I don't need one. I'm perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, March 7th. I had the strangest dream last night. I saw a laughing gibbous moon with rotten mega teeth. I rode a wave across an ocean. I walked across the face of a star. I saw candy hearts falling into a black hole. As I wandered further, the sun started to set. I swear the ground seems 
to shift in dreams. Uh, April 9th. Last night I stumbled into a nightmare world. The moon started pulling me towards it. Waves fell gently on some faraway beach. I remember that the sun had a strange tint of blue. The stars turned on me. I heard a voice. Beyond these walls lies death's heart. He used to say this dream left a strange aftertaste. April 10th. What a strange dream. The stars turned on me. I saw a laughing gave a smooth rotten mega tea. Heard a voice. Da da da. Dreaming is a strange pleasure these days. It says the same thing. Uh, April 11th. Last night I fell out of bed twice. A wave was building up. I remember finding the light switch controlling the sun. My fridge was full of human hearts. A single star shone... Sorry, turn it down. Uh, shone over a house. I saw a laughing give a swing around make a teeth. Promising results so far. I look towards my next journey. Last night I stumbled into a nightmare world. I jump blah, blah 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 blah. I recall a sharp pain as my heart stopped beating. The stars seemed oddly pretentious. I rode a wave across an ocean. I strongly recall something odd about the moon. What a nightmare! I hardly feel rested at all. May 13th. That's nice dream left a bad taste in my mouth. The stars seemed oddly pretentious. I saw a pale laughing moon. The waves of the dream had taken me too far. My heart was racing. I couldn't stop it. The sun was a gigantic eye following my every move. I fear each night, but I must continue exploring. Does <laughs> anyone think this looks like Maddie a tiny bit? Well, I would never be holding a wrench, I don't know. It's, it seems like something I wouldn't do. Perfectly fine, hey Maddie, how about pickle from a pickle chair? <laughs> Stop, I still haven't opened that! Uh... So where she tends to do it. Is that a wrench in her hand? <laughs> Fixing OBS. <laughs> That's true. I do love that. Um, the stars went out like candles, one by one. My heart was racing, couldn't stop it. I'm a gigantic song, swallowed the earth. I'm sure I'm on a threshold of virgin territory. Uh, I fell in bed. Remember the moon. A sound wave shattered me like glass. I saw a tiny gray boulder, the remnants of my fossilized heart. I was frightened by the fact that the sun was missing. Something knocked me out. I could see stars. One nightmare. I hope you feel rested at all. June 16th. Last night I had a strange dream. Blah, 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 blah. Something like that. I could see stars. I became the sun swimming lazily across the sky. I would cause sharp pain as my heart stopped beating. The dream left me feeling weak. The dream is slipping. I have to write it down quickly. A great wave rose from deep below. Something knocked me out. I could see stars. I remember finding the light switch controlling the sun. Saw my heart leave my body. I strongly recall something odd about the moon. The dream left me feeling weak. Yeah, Maddie would have an axe and would be wearing clad. That's right, I would be. It's gonna be me this weekend, cause camping! Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, what a strange dream. The sun's a gigantic eye, blah 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 blah. Saw my heart leave my heart. An island appeared as the surrounding waves subsided. The moon was there, but the rest of the sky was missing. I walked across the face of the star. The dream was near me. Yeah, I was so strange. It. That's it. Interesting. The stream seemed oddly repetitive. Yeah, no, no doubt, man. Okay, counter clockwise. Counter clockwise. 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 Counter. 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 Wait. Probably one of the best things mankind ever invented. This looks like a secret door. Wonder what's behind it. Seems to be something written on the wall. It looks like some kind of code. Heh? Clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise? I don't think that worked. What, are, what does this square symbols uh, mean? Camping in Alberta equals lumberjacking to the rest of the world. <laughs> and bear wrestling. Well, it's bears out right now. Amazing soundtrack. <laughs> I kind of like the soundtrack. It's very um, unique and creepy. So what, yeah, what does this mean? 
Because I get the, the clockwise, the counterclockwise, and the, and the clockwise, but the squares with the triangles on the corner, what does that mean? Left, upper right, lower left. Maddie, when you go camping, do you intentionally not pack food in jars in order to prevent starvation? Well, I camp with other people that can open jars, so it's fine. Yep, I will not starve. Place records. It's nothing to wipe off me. I'm not sure, but I don't think these two go together. Well, I don't know. I'm just trying. It's a date stamp. Stamp the door. The stamp won't open the door. Stamp the scroll. I don't want to get ink all over it. Oh, what's that? Ink pad. Duh. Okay, so I have an ink pad now. What do I do with the ink pad? It's an ink pad. I don't get ink smear all over it. The stamp has ink on it now. The stamp the paper. It says August 20th, 1975. Oh. What do you guys think? Have you seen anything scary when camping? Just lots of wildlife. Lots of bears. I saw a huge fucking grizzly uh, on the side of the road. That was kind of terrifying because it was massive. <laughs> Just curious, are these jars not actually cans that require a can opener? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. Oh. Mm. 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 Those darn metal jars are witchcraft. Witchcraft, I see. <laughs> oh, there's a oh duh. Look, there's another room. I didn't even see that. Strange. I can hear his voice, but there's no one here. Must be hiding somewhere. His bed? I'm watching his bed just like he was watching ours last night. Does that make us even? Let's see how these will come in handy. Surely draft running along the floor. The case? There's even more books. They're mostly science fiction. Cleaning gear? These don't seem to get much use. And then shelf. Some of these books look like they're a hundred years old. So, we can read them? Oh boy, we're gonna have a lot of reading ahead of us. February 3rd, 71. I've had this dream before, I'm sure of it. I dreamt of a barren landscape scorched by the sun. It was a heart beating. I was a heart beating inside a stranger's body. The stars went out like candles one by one. A wave was building up. The moon started pulling me towards us. I feel fear for my sanity. Um, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, the same words appear over and over, but slightly different orders. I wonder if that means something. There's another one. Mm. 
Okay, so this is 74. And 71. Yeah. The sun, moon, star, heart, and wave. Mr. Martin's voice seems louder over here for some reason. Radio? It's a small transistor radio. Small book. Dictionary of Imaginary Places. The Interpretation of Dreams. Some books considering symbolism in dreams. Just be reading lots of books about dreams and sleep studies. Chair. It's a kid's chair. Does he have a child? Plunger! Seems to have been used on a daily basis since the 1970s. Beer bottle. Not familiar with this brand, but it looks like a lager. Mmm, beer. All the comforts of a modern home. And some toilet paper. Mr. Martin seems like a consumer. Oh, oh loves his brooms? I don't know. Uh, the ashtray's full to the brim. Maybe a close in the room below. Did you take a photo of the bear? I did not. But I think I tried and it just didn't end up clearing up because we were driving down the road, so. August 20th, 1975. Wait a minute. Okay, let's try. strange dream. Then a moon-shaped package arrived. The stars turned on me. I was frightened by the fact that the sun was missing. I was fell gently on some faraway beach. My heart sang a, be a beautiful song. I have to say it feels better having written this down. Hmm. Well, that didn't help. I don't have the stamp anymore, either. means something. Speak easy flashbacks with this object. <laughs> the order of the books. Yeah, I wonder if I have to change, like maybe it's not within date, maybe it's a different order. Wave moon. And heart stars. That's the sun, right? Start some waves heart? Is that what it is? Ah! Oh shit! It's an elevator. Ooh, spooky. Oh, I entered it. Nothing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> 
Uh, the books from the Patriot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I figured it out, man. Thanks, Santi. <laughs> Okay. Uh-oh. We have to stop. They just found the camera. The police are probably on their way right now. Okay. So that's how he watches everyone. That's unacceptable. We can't have another Travis incident. That was hard enough to cover up as it was. These are people of friends and family. Somebody's bound to miss him eventually. Frank, Frank. Only works with his bond. Yeah, I thought so. Look at that! <laughs> no, I refuse to do that. I should have unplugged you years ago. This ends now. Wait, what are you doing? No, stop! Martin appears to be sleeping. I'm unable to wake him up. What happened to him? Blueprint? Whoa! I am state and synaptic ribbon, decalcifer, elements stimulator, synaptic sender device, power supply indicator, brainwave sync unit, melatonin inhibitor, neural oscillation monitor, synaptic receiver device, pineal gland stimulator. What? The absolute fuck. <laughs> that was hard. She just wanted to pull the plug. Some show some kind of grotesque machine. Two figures stand next to it, each wearing a synaptic device. I wonder if that might be important. I bet you I wear one, and then he wears one. Some kind of machine. Looks intimidating. No fuck. It's like breathing. Seems to be a power indicator of some kind. Six of the lights are lit up. I don't know what that signifies. No, I don't know either. Oh, I'm assuming I put one on here. And then one on me. Nothing is happening. Oh, maybe I, I got to do it the other way. Use the receiver, right? What's that smell? Oh, seems to have triggered something. It's blurry, but I think I'm seeing. What was that? Oh, I'm not sure I want to. Oh, that hurts. Whoa, where am I? What is this place? Mr. Martin, are you in here? I guess he must be. Damn. Blood. Looks like a bloody handprint. I don't have an inventory anymore. Whoa. A large stone statue of some kind. It bears a slight resemblance to Mr. Morton. Which portal should we enter? This one? Ugh. <gasps> Auntie! 1,000 bitter runies! Oh my god, that cup just exploded. Oh, cheese! That's way too nice, okay? That's wet. That's way too nice. Way too nice. But thank you. <laughs> Just get some, get some, get some hype up in chat for that, cause that was, that was really sweet. Don't know, don't know why you would do such a thing when I abuse you all the time. X X X X X. Okay, 
sorry, did you just say something? I can't understand what you're trying to tell me. What is this place? This must be broken. There's a chalk line drawing on the back wall. Vega resembles an eye. Uh, I don't know what to do with that. Yes, get some hype. So. Mr. Nick, sir. Sorry, what's that? I said my name is Victor Neff. Can't hear a word you're saying. I'm sorry. I did. Diff, brah. Got rocks in yours. There. Now I can talk. That feels better. What did you do? I removed some rocks from your ear canal. Sorry, what's that? Your ear canal was clogged. I can hardly hear you. But whatever you did before it seems to have made it better. Keep at it. Well, there's... I could put them back in there. Huh. What was that? Why did I put that in there? That's what she said. Now I can't hear again. What did you do? I removed parts of your inner ear. Sorry, what's that? I may need the pieces for something. I can hardly hear you. Whatever you do seems to me. Please refrain from doing it. Okay. Ugh. Drum. It's too big to fit. Doesn't seem to work. This must be broken. Okay, well now that we have like a bent rod or whatever. Rod is bent, but I can't bend it back with my bare hands. Box? Oh! Just like <laughs> it seems like it's there we go, okay. Can we do something with this? The rod won't do any good here. So why do I put that in there? Why? 
bye 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 Trucks. Here's more. That seems to trigger something. Ha! Ah! Who goes there? My name is Victor Neff, sir. Why have you disturbed me in my sleep, Victor Neff? I'm sorry, sir. I'm trying to find someone, but I don't know where I am. What is this place? Tell you what, if you do me a favor, I'll give you the answers you seek. What do you want me to do? I can barely see you down there, Victor. My eyes aren't what they used to be. If you help me see sharply again, I'll answer your questions. Deal? Deal. I'll be here if you need me. Seems to be missing something. Doesn't fit. Where it's supposed to go. Well, I don't know, put a rock in there, but I used up all my rocks. Seems to be, yeah. Geico gives free quotes. <laughs> uh -huh. How do I tune it up? Let's see it quick. Okay, so nothing else to interact with. I have to figure out what to do with that. Give you a nickel back off your crit. Ew, don't say nickel back. Gross. At least enough to buy a tub of ice cream for all of us. I want ice cream. I want ice cream too. I just I think the stones are about keeping the eyelids open. Oh, well, what the fuck, man? Thank you. 
Aha! Top of ice cream crust fader box. That would be some good ice cream. I will chip in. Mmm! Treats for all! The ice cream I have is Oreo. Birthday cake Oreo ice cream. It's so fucking good. It's so good. Well, now I gotta give my keys some treats. I will do that. I'll do that right now. I'll do it. All right. The kitties got their treats. They are happy. Happy kitties. Well, they were mad at first because I woke them up from their naps. But then they realized that I had a bag of treats with me and they got very excited. I need like a hint or something. Give me a hint. See, even extra hints are on. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Ice cream cupcakes with a cookie on top? Yeah! That would be so good. Ah. Mm -mm. Anyone got any ideas on what to do? Because I'm, I'm very lost. got the rod was there anything else in the statue I don't think so it was just the was the rod oh god There's nothing else here. Just, uh, just these. On his cheek? What are you talking about? Are you talking about a different guy?
biscuit? Like the thatch? Can I go up the stairs? I don't think so. He just goes like... Oh! Dude! Nice! He can! I thought he couldn't. Oh my god! <laughs> Good call, Vin. Glasses! <laughs> Hammer. Remains of someone long since gone. And the look says too, he used to be a blacksmith while he was still alive. Yay! That means I can... Bend it back into shape now. Yeah! Fuck yeah. And I have a pair of glasses now. Ah! Oh my god! Good call, then. Good fucking call. I thought I couldn't go up there because he only went to a certain point. goes there? Why have you disturbed me in my sleep? My name is Victor Neff, sir. I don't know where I am. You're standing right in front of me. Th that is where you are. But what is this place? It's a shrine. To what? To me. Is this place real? Are you real? Am I? What separates a real place from an unreal? That it seems real to your senses? That it feels real when you tread its grounds? In that case, this place is very real. Who are you? I'm a symbol. A tribute. And a memory. All at once? Yes. You're not being very helpful. Neither are you. Actually, I fix your vocal cords or whatever those rods in your throat are. Yes, yes, I guess you did. So, so what? You owe me some answers. What would you like to know? Who are you really? My name was Ainsley Morton. Was? Yes, I died quite a while ago, I'm afraid. What you see in front of you isn't actually me. And what is it? It's a monument. Have you seen a shifty looking older guy walking past here? I am asleep mostly, I don't see much of anything. Who are you looking for? A guy named Felix Morton. I have reason to believe he was in here somewhere. Felix? What has he done now, the useless prat? <laughs> you know him? Of course I do, he's my grandson. I wish he wasn't, but a rotten egg is better than no egg at all. You don't like your own grandson? No, he lacks conviction. He'll be the end of it all. It's his father's fault, really. Too soft on him, you see. Me, I tried to cane him every chance I got. <laughs> you physically abuse your grandson? It builds character. I tried to beat some sense into the boy, but his father was too soft, I tell you. Too damn soft. Have you seen your grandson recently? I'm mostly asleep these days. If he walked past here, he had the common courtesy not to wake me up, unlike some people. Also, he doesn't talk to me much anymore. What do you know about him? He was a useless mongrel then, and he's probably just as useless now. Whatever your beef is with young Felix, I suggest you let it rest. Trying to get sensible answers out of that boy is like trying to milk a stone. He doesn't owe you money, does he? No, it's not about money. Then you can count your lucky blessings about one thing at least. Now, if you'll excuse me, my eternal sleep is well deserved and long overdue. No, wait. If Felix is in here, how can I find him? The correct order order will lead you there. Order of what? That's all you get from me. Good luck. Damn it. Okay, bye. Um. Right. This is the blind guy. what you look like, Victor. Is that what passes for a hairstyle these days? Ha! Huh. I guess so. Things have certainly changed since my day. But thank you for helping me see. So we're in the realm where ideas come from. Yes, among other things, every person has their own allotted piece of this place. But the pieces overlap, and every piece is part of a greater whole, the shared unconscious. Now tell me, what do you require of me? I'm trying to find a man called Felix Horton. Felix? I've never heard of him. Must have been before my time. Or after. I wish there was more I could do for you. I'll manage somehow. Good luck. 
Okay, so we just have the deaf dude. Oh, where are we? Which way is the deaf dude? Oh. No! Aha. I have a hammer. Now I can't hear again. What did you do? Oh, huh. Do I have to put other stuff in there? Like... Oh, can I take the rocks back from that one guy? No, it won't let me. Somebody warned. Not that I've noticed, but as you know, my eyes aren't too sharp. My landlord spied on me and my wife while we slept. I'm trying to find him. Felix? Never heard of him. Sounds like more of a matter of police to handle. My wife is calling them at the moment. I'm sure they can help you out better out than I can. I wish there was more I could do for you. I'm sure I'll manage. Good look. Now, can I have those, please? Because you're sleeping, so it's not like you need them. God oh, damn it. Oh, I picked up the anvil. Do I shove that in the... <laughs> is it this portal? Which way is it again? I never remember. Okay. Just shove everything in there? Ha! I don't think the order is correct. I don't think the order is correct. Uh, I don't think the order is correct. Well, what the hell's the order supposed to be, man? Wait, did I try that this way? Okay. Uh. Whoever you are. Hey, let's duck. Duckity duck. Can't thank you enough. What is this place? It's the subconscious realm of dreams. My son's dreams, to be more specific. Your son? Yes, Felix Morton. Have you met him? I'm trying to find him. But this place is a bit of a maze. I wish I could help you with that, but this place shifts a lot. To create a maze inside one's subconscious requires quite a lot of willpower. If Felix is in here hiding from you, I don't think you're going to be able to find him. I don't think he's hiding. I think he was attacked somehow. In that case, I wish you the best of luck. Wait, how do I find Felix? He's the last in the line of Mortons. Get to him last. Good luck. Yeah, well, like, we're, like, we're, like, we're done now with these guys, so... Now what?
Hmm. I challenged Miss Bot Bell. Bot Meow to a bit off. Oh, really? Anti Bot of Charm. Okay, now I'm stuck again. <laughs> Got the bots giving me bits, man. Do I just can I just leave? said you have to find the right order so do you have to talk to him again maybe oh maybe um realm of dreams my son's dreams your son yes you didn't make much of an impression on you I take it you spied on me and my wife while we slept I'm sure you had his reasons I'm sure you did that's why I need to find it she can help you with that get to him last Talk to them all. I'm assuming because that's his dad or whatever, right? Be him, and then. Okay, I think I did it in the wrong order. to accept the consequences. Not before I shut you down. Cut you out of every gym if I have to. Ah! Tentacle. Ooh. Hey, dude. Hello again, Mr. Neff. I guess you're wondering where you are. What is this place? You're standing in the dreamscape, Mr. Neff. A living, breathing uh, amalgamation of billions of sleeping minds, each adding their own distinct piece to the puzzle. All connected, belonging to the same world. I'm inside a dream. You're in my dream, as a matter of fact. It doesn't always look like this. It changes slightly each night. But this is where I come when I dream. How did I get here? Each sleeping mind is an entryway to a different part of the dreamscape. By using the helmets, you projected your consciousness into my sleeping mind. That's how you ended up here. What's the purpose of the large machine in the basement? It synchronizes the brainwaves of two connected minds, making it possible to project an awake mind into a sleeping one, as you're doing right now. Do you build it? Only parts of it. 
My family has been trying to chart the dreamscape for the past four generations. My great-grandfather first um, posited the idea that we are all visit a collective unconscious in our sleep. We wanted to explore it to see if we had a coherent geography. Does it? Yes, but it is ever-changing, ever-evolving. As people die, we lose parts of it. As new people are born, new areas appear. It's roughly disc-shaped. As you're born, you appear in the center, moving outward as you age, eventually reaching the thin, crumbling edge as your life comes to an end. How does a machine like that work? To be honest, I don't fully understand it myself. My great-grandfather built the first prototype. It was crude, barely providing a keyhole speak into the sleeping mind. My grandfather improved the design by synchronizing the brain waves at the connected minds. My father and I both added parts here and there, mainly increasing performance and stability. So your family's been building this thing for four generations? I was raised from an early age to continue my family's work. My father instructed me how to operate the machine. Occasionally, he brought me uh, along with him into the dreamscape. Can you imagine what that was like for a child? Own people's dreams to play in? <laughs> I banned that bar from Marva, but it was so innocent. <laughs> That's what it wants you to think. Only innocent one here is me. Aha, uh -huh. oh yeah, okay, sure, Auntie. A beacon of hope. Uh huh. Yeah, whatever. Who were you talking to before? I was talking to the machine. It has organic parts and has, after decades of refinement, reached some degree of awareness. I learned to communicate with it after all these years. A talking machine? It's not really talking. It's more like a whisper in the back of your mind. Uh, what attacked you in the basement? It was the machine. Recently, we've had differing opinions on how to proceed. A situation that accumulated once you discovered my camera, Mr. Nath. What was the argument about? Lately, our operation has been getting harder and harder to keep under wraps. I wanted to put on hold while I sorted things out, but the machine wouldn't let me. I was trying to shut it down, but it attacked me. Awareness and self-preservation go hand in hand, unfortunately. I wish I could explain all this at greater length, but I'm fading. I'm afraid I won't be with you much longer. Dreams can't hurt you, can they? Dreams can alter your perception of reality. They can change your life, and they certainly can hurt you. People die in their sleep all the time. What was that tentacle thing that grabbed you? Tentacles are the roots of the machine. An extension of it, if you will. The machine resides in both dreams and reality at once. The thing you saw in the basement is but half of it. The roots reside here and draw power from the dreamscape. I thought dreams were all just about wish fulfillment, not an actual place. You're not alone thinking that. Shrewd, for instance, was the originator of that particular idea. But you can see around you, you're both quite wrong. I'm feeling weak. But before I leave you, there's something I have to ask. If I could do it myself, I would, but I don't have long. I need you to shut the machine down once and for all. How do I do that? By cutting off its power supply. The tentacle you saw was one of its roots. That's how it draws power from the dreamscape. But I've already chopped it off. There's more. By now, the tentacles have spread to the others of the estate. You must enter their dreams, just like you entered mine, and make sure I can't draw power anymore. Why can't I just smash the machine itself? The machine is more than just a clunky thing in the basement. It would be like getting rid of a tick without removing the head. Once all dreams are purged, the machine will shut down properly. Will you grant me this? Oh! Let's see now for me. I think I cut my losses and run. The machine sends like a powerful tool. Does it really have to be switched off? The machine has to be stopped at any cost. I will do it, but only save the ones I care about. You're a sick man. I don't trust anything you say. What's in it for me? Your wife has been infected as well since I visited her dreams last night. But now I'll purge her dream and get the hell out of her. I'm afraid that would only postpone her decrepitude. The machine, if left on stop, will eventually reestablish in your wife's dream. I'll take my chances. I hope you ever reconsider. I'm the last in line in the mornings. With me, my family perishes. What are you going to tell the world about this once we're gone? That you are scientists and explorers of mind? Thank you, Mr. Neff. I'll rest easier knowing that. This is where I must leave you, I'm afraid. I wish I had more time to set this straight. We don't get to choose these things. I'm afraid not. Goodbye, Mr. Neff. Goodbye, Mr. Moyne.
and he died died rip mr morton Martin has passed away. He died trying to shut the machine down. I think I can do... Oh. Mr. Martin's dying wish to shut this thing down. Apparently its roots are lodged in dreams. Want me to cut them off? She must live on the top floor. She's another tenant Mr. Martin's been visiting. No, it says Martin Willard. He must live on the top floor. He's another tenant. Eddie Jones. She's our next door neighbor. She's been living there for a while. No, it says Alicia. Mr. Martin visited her dream last night as we slept. I'll never be able to figure it from that. This is blank, except a big question mark. I guess I hasn't been or that area hasn't been charted yet. Cool. That's really neat. Strange device. The dial. The slot seems to be designed to hold a cylindrical object. An indicator of some kind. Needle seems to indicate that machine is empty. Okay. We need to fill it up with something. Here's books on electrical and mechanical engineering. And a safe. Seems to be a key. It's locked and we don't have the code. If you have any evidence to refute my claim of innocence, I welcome you to share. I'll find it. I'll tell ya. Alright, so... It doesn't look like anyone's sleeping, are they? I remember it looks somebody's dining room. If not mistaken, this is our next door neighbor's bridge party. So I had to bring this to dress that this room's on the top floor. This guy with the wheelchair looking through a telescope. Oh, it looks like ours except mirrored and has more furniture. May belong to somebody on the top floor. Amber overlooks the lobby. Mr. Martin probably monitor the coming and going of tenants. Hoover's still on his lunch break. Amber is marrying someone's hallway. Judging by the old photos on the walls, it might be these. That's our bedroom. Mr. Martin watched us when we slept last night. I felt uncomfortable looking at this. Camera monitor is someone's living room. It might belong to someone on the third floor. This is somebody's bedroom. I don't know whose apartment it belongs to. This camera monitor is someone's living room. It might belong to someone on the third floor. Yes. Okay. Nothing happened. Trash can contains the remains, burn papers. Trying to destroy evidence before you died. Most of it's completely destroyed, but this little piece seems readable. New safe code.
Hey, wasn't there... Wasn't that on the wall? It's closed shut. Oh. So... How am I supposed to know what, what that is? Okay, now provide the evidence. Can't you see I'm busy doing something, Auntie? It's not always about you. God, can't pay attention to you 24-7, Auntie. Well, I don't know what to do with this. Hmm. Can I find a way to translate that code? Yeah, they were they were beside the uh, gramophone, but I can't go back there. The door locked behind me. So I'm not sure what to do. Because I can't go back there. Map of the dreams. This is where we always sleep. So we're born somewhere in the center and then move outwards as we age. Ah, oh, cool. That's why she's so far out. I'm on the line, that's why we can't call it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, we reached this guy. This is Victor Neff again. Well, there they are about the caretaker, Mr. Martin. Ah! <laughs> I miss you, Maddie. <laughs> White face thing? Oh my god! <laughs> I miss you, Maddie. Miss you too, Whiteface. <laughs> Thanks for the donation there. That's awesome, Whiteface. Just get a little, get a little hype up in the chat for Whiteface. Mm. Uh, Mr. Martin has rigged the building with cameras. You mean security cameras? There's nothing to worry about. He's with his rights to keep you and your other attendants safe. Not what I meant. He's been hitting cameras inside the apartments. What should I follow? He's peeping! It's quite an accusation. Trying to sound like a police matter. You try calling your local station? My wife is doing that right now. Good. You're better equipped to handle this. Right. Never mind, bye. No problem, bye. Who did that? Who made a white face account? <laughs> That's hilarious. 
Yes. We're sorry, all of our operators are busy at the moment. Okay. Currently number 16. How am I supposed to figure that out? <laughs> TV remote. Yeah, well, let me, well, let me use the remote. Oh, yes, I, never mind. That, whoa. I tried clicking it earlier, but it wouldn't let me. Is that a leash on our hallway? It is, I can see the uh, boxes on the floor. That means he's got more cameras rigged in our apartment. It's just beyond creepy. Oh, look! What the f- Oh, dude. I was just gonna say, look in the corners. That's how you know... Uh, what the code is gonna be. So... That's one. Six. I need to, like, write this down. Both pen around here. There we go. I'm gonna write this down just to make it easier. That one is three. That one is nine. That one is one. And that one is six. Okay, so. Zero one zero ha <sighs> Yeah, anti bot of charm is just spamming. How annoying is that, right? So what's the key for? The elevator? Ah. Oh, that's where we are, duh. Okay. 
No, Alicia needs my help right. Oh yeah, that's right. Her wife is in trouble. Don't. There she is. Oh no, my waifu. Oh, she's snooping. She seems to have fallen asleep. I'm able to wake her. I'm sorry about this, Alicia. Feel weird about peeping around inside your dream, but I don't see any other way to help you. I'll see you on the other side. Don't like that scream, it's creepy. Ah, damn it! I knew that was gonna be the end. Alright, so that was the first two episodes. Chapters, whatever they call them. I really like this game though. It's really interesting. Very weird and unique. I like how it's all uh, clay and cardboard too. That's super cool. This is taking forever to do stuff like that. Similar to Broken Age? Yeah, it is kind of similar. For sure. Seven years? Yeah. And no fuck it would take this long. To be continued. Thanks for playing the second chapter of our game. We hope you liked it. If you enjoyed chapter two, you're happy to hear the entire third chapter is available to play. Uh-huh. Yeah, I won't be able to play it right now because I have to buy it. Um... So once I get some more, uh, monies, uh, that's so cool, then, uh, we can play it. Um, I'll close it here. And we'll wrap up. Who can I throw you guys at? Oh, let's go, let's go here. I like, I just found this channel the other day, and I really like him. Uh, it's called the, uh, Fischl Decon. And he's playing... Dragon Warrior, too, it looks like. Just make sure he's still going. He speaks, uh, Japanese and English. Oops. Uh, he's playing- the games he's playing are in English, though, so. Give me the link. There's the link. So, you guys go on over there. Uh, and go say hi. Give him a follow if you like him. And for now, I shall be logging off. Thanks for enjoying the dream machine with me today. And... Uh, we will be back next time. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not. I'm not sure. I'm camping all weekend, by the way, so I won't be around. Um, should be back Tuesday night after camping. Um, might stream tomorrow. If I do, it'll be just a short one or something. Anyways, we will talk then. Hope you all have a good night, and I'll talk to you later. Ba-da-ba-da-ba